do not expect that your partner would get you off financial freedom welcome to the show two together with one and i wanted to talk about briefly finances uh, most people feel getting married is a gateway to financial freedom i want you to get that out of your head getting married is not or should not be the gateway to financial you know in those days most youngsters got married because they needed someone to help them take care of uh, bills to help them take care of uh, fees or one thing or the other most young ladies got married in the past you know they needed to pay one bill or the other so they just thought getting married would be the gateway to financial freedom it's not so so please do not expect that your partner would get you off financial freedom don't go into marriage with such expectation there are realistic expectations and unrealistic expectations and that is one of the unrealistic expectations we shouldn't go into marriage with okay what age do you think is sane or safe to get married some people say 25 some say as long as the person is matured but let me hear you out a friend of mine her daughter got married and she was 20 yeah 20 she just clocked 20. Um, the person she got married to was 24. you need to see the comment section the comment section was filled up oh, with people amazed like ah oh, you guys are too young why would you get married at this young age so i was wondering what age is meant for them to get married because both of them they're done with school they're working what exactly is the problem what's the what should be the obstacle what's the thing that should stop two people from getting married what are the obstructions what why shouldn't they get married even the bible says it is better to marry than to born do you know what that born means b-u-r-n to born is kanji <laughs> kanji is where you are uh -huh. you are on heat you want to do the do you want to you can't just wait so instead of you just having the urge you know you keep having the urge to want to have sex and run and just stay without yeah just get married that's what the bible says so there's no specific age if you ask me for one to get married if you are matured enough marriage is about two mature people coming together in a union it takes two takes two matured people i want to talk about something that is coming up something that is cooking i'm going to put it out there from next week the total bride it's called the brighter blueprint you see brides have not been really prepared i've had this vision for a long time and i'm just saying it uh saying it out here for the first time a platform you know in my country nigeria they call it the fattening room a platform where you can prepare the bride do you understand growing up we were always told to close your legs if you touch man you will get pregnant if you smile at a guy you might you know miss your period if you do this don't go close to anybody don't 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 don't, don't, don't. we our lives were filled up with don'ts <sighs> after marriage we were not told to do you want to do see how you do it nah nobody did but that's actually how bedmatics 101 was bettered uh the ministry i hold uh, a safe space where you just learn tips and tricks on how to enjoy marriage and not enjoy it it is a ministry i've been running for years now and it's got so many other subsets underneath it which is this show called two the matchmaking is under bedmatics 101 the show we did yesterday one it is for christian married couples as well then so many other things are coming up from this same umbrella do you understand it and then this new one that is coming up now is called the brighter blueprint where every bride before they say i do they are prepared for marriage so this is you're going to get the course that's this course is going to help prep you where you learn different 
tips and tricks on how to enter or step into your role as a wife, where you get prepared on how to enjoy marriage to the fullest, where you are told about the huddles and all the speed bumps along the way so that you can be sure not to engage in any form of accident. You know, if you are told that, see, 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 in this path, there could be this, this, or that. Be careful, you'll be more careful in it. So this is a course that is coming up and I am going to be launching it out soon. Where you learn how to take care of your body, how you can smell nice inside out, how you can cook yourself to the point where your husband will be ravished by your embrace, by your love. Oh goodness, this course is so power packed. I've been putting down structured planning for some weeks now. This is not really weeks. I've been, I've been on this for years, but I am deliberately made to put this down. Every time I pray about things early in the morning, early hours of the morning when I just, you know, fellowship with the Holy Spirit, I just get to hear this in my head and my spirit. Come on, do this, do this. I'm like, okay, it's about time. So we're going to get doing it in a moment. So I'm just letting you, giving you guys snippets on what's coming, okay? all right so uh with that said be ready even how to be flexible you will learn exercises you will learn not just exercises you will learn how to really man the bedroom how to embrace your femininity in a nutshell how to enjoy sexual intercourse because i as much as many other women back then in the past we've always hated it most women hate sex for no just reason. This is something you've been anticipating, something you've been wanting to get into. Then you get married and then you just plateau. You're like, How, what is this? Was this what I signed up for? So, you know, there's a phase where you enjoy, 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 and then phew, it comes down. For you not to even get to that point where you plateau, you would learn the tips and tricks to it, okay? So this course is coming out soon and it'll be early bird offer so you stay glued to my page as that is cooking this course is going to prep you it's going to open your eyes to so many things i've been married now for 17 years to the glory of god experience holy spirit's counseling education these three things has helped me a great deal uh let me not waste this knowledge I'm putting it into good work. A lot of people go into marriage and they go out. You see, these days, the divorce rate is alarming. One is in my DM. I don't want to call the person's name because I'm not taking the fact that they seek my help for granted. But someone chatted me up, was it a few days ago? He, this person has been married for six months. And they're tired already. Six months. So what are you talking about? No, yeah, people say this is not what I signed up for. You know, you know what you're signing up for before you actually sign up. So before you say I do, hmm? let's 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 uh before you say I do, let's 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 have this talk. Let's let's have this coaching, let's have this preparation. So you can even be this can even be passed on to your children. This is a healthy way of giving a gift to someone that is just getting married, someone is just getting married or about to get married. This is what they should um, hold on to because in most churches, what they do is premarital counseling and that lasts for a few weeks or even some months. And then that's, they don't really go in depth. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hi, it's good to be here. Good to have you. So please gist us. Yeah. We want to learn what exactly uh, happened. 18 years of marriage. Yes. Uh -huh. I've been married 17 years. I'm now wondering. I've been married 17 years. years. I'm now wondering. And then what happened? How did that Okay, you know, I said that before? because, uh, yeah, um, a lot of things can go wrong. But what I've learned is that if something works for you, just keep repeating it. Don't get bored. You know, repetition can bring boredom, but not in marriage. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you know, because. Um, if something works and you are trying to innovate something new, maybe you saw somewhere, you agree with your partner and say, look, I think this is working for Mr. XYZ. Can we try it out? You both agree. Because it's really about 
communication. Yeah. You know, so, but yeah. if, if your partner doesn't agree, don't go there. It doesn't really matter how beautiful that is because it's going to be very shocking how the whole thing crashes if the it enters a terrain that you are not used to. Okay, so fine. So I've been asked this question often. What happened? Now, you know, crisis in marriage is not like any other crisis. The way you drink water can be enough reason for you to crash. <laughs> yes. The way you drink again. water or the way... Yes, press yes, as simple as water. To press the side of the The way you press toothpaste. Exactly, exactly. So in the institution, it's not really about what happened, but it's about the mindset how it's handled yeah one of the terrible mindsets you should not have is resentment hmm. you know resentment in any form or any size can crush it it may not crush it immediately just give it time that resentment will grow and two of you will not be able to salvage it you see i don't know i've i've seen i've seen you i've seen it frequently on TikTok, I've listened to you. Um, I have followed you. I've followed you. I followed you back and all that. So <laughs> I'm used to you, you know. Yes. Um, I think there was even a time you lost uh, one of your accounts and you had to open up another account. I'm telling you so, how much I probably yeah. have been yeah. you, know, you know, following you. So I know a whole lot about your principles. So and I love them. So that's why I decided to join your live stream today. You know, so um, I don't know what else you, what you want me to see. You want to ask questions? Well, I like, we just wanted to know what to... happened. You've not really hit the nail on the head, but you just gave us a notion of what happened. No, you see, the, the, the thing is that if anybody hits the nail on the head, it's most likely they're not telling you the truth. Ah, nobody, so many things nobody, in nobody, one, right? So many issues you can't really pinpoint. No, yes, is it, but basically, little boxes that spoils the vine. Yes, yes. So, so somebody said, um, I don't like the way he serves me food. I don't like the way she cooks. Those mm. are just irrelevant. Yeah. Mm. There are terrible yeah. things. For example. If the man, I've seen often many posts on TikTok about uh, men and respect and all that, and women and validation and all that. You see, the thing is this if you give me respect in a way that I don't fully comprehend it, I don't see it as respect. I've done a video concerning that before now, yeah. I've done mm -hmm. a video concerning mm -hmm. that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you keep talking respect, so it's not really about the respect. It's not really about those things, it's about who you are married to. Who is, who is this person? Mm. How does he understand it? Mm. And if you take your time, you know, when I went through all that crisis, I came up with this idea that it's only in the cinemas that divorce is interesting. Nobody who has ever gone through it finds it interesting. And oh. another surprising thing you may want to know is that a larger percentage of people who divorce really want, didn't want to divorce. But it's just like a tide. When the tide holds you, it's going to end up there. Yeah. You know, have I had moments I want to, I wished it never happened? Yes, yeah. several moments. Do yeah. I want to go back there? No. Now, if you ask her, has she had moments that it never happened? I'm sure the same answer. You could do a survey, and that's what yeah. you're going to find. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, but the thing is this. What I've come up with, I've become sort of a love evangelist now. Mm. I, I, I talk about love. I talk about romance. I talk about all those things because I've had enough experience to teach. That if you go to my page, that's the theme of my page, you know? Basically, I mean, yeah. fine, I do my own private yeah. business, but my page on TikTok, 
talks about how to make have a lovely relationship mm. okay so um so it's about when you notice it that this tide there's a tide just like the hurricane that hit florida recently mm. when you see the tide building up mm. puncture it exactly if you think you want to use logical argument mm. to stop the tide the tide will build up so strong my god sometimes in puncturing it you may just have to play the fool you may just have to play the ignoramus that's you it. understand that's it uh -huh, that's you know so because when that tide builds up two of you will not know where you are going to land but you just mm -hmm. know it's building up resentment you know avarice you don't want to be with each other you the pleasure you used to enjoy together before even the other room experience you just mm -hmm. discover that you don't flow with each other anymore. I get it. What have you gotten out from this whole experience from 18 years? And what do you, okay, when you've mentioned about, you know, tackling anything you see, just like the saying that goes, if stitching time saves mine. So what would you advise any newly wedded couple? Or like, the match, like this is a single show now. What would you advise someone that is about to get into marriage? I don't really know what this is you're talking about. What would you tell them how to be prepared? Do you have a word for them so you can just no. see them? Yeah. Yes, this is what I'll tell anybody planning to get married. Is the that beginning point. What are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Don't look for the things you don't mm -hmm. know about. I you see the the thing is that I have come to understand that you just have to marry your type, the type of person that fits you. Some for certain material reasons get married yeah but the thing is this yeah if you get married for material reasons it's either you don't have okay so i see this as a christian platform so i'm going to be free to talk about christian stuff but when i'm talking about on the secular platform i use some other language but so fine so now on the christian platform i would say if you are getting married for material or monetary reasons it's mm -hmm. it's either you don't believe in god and God's ability to transform your destiny. Because I have seen totally poor people become billionaires over time. And have seen very, very wealthy people, very, very wealthy people. After some time, beg. I'm not talking about stories I've heard. I'm talking about people I have seen. So the tide can turn. So because you need a meal ticket today, you now say you get attached. It's not only for women, no. even men. Man, yeah. that yeah. the daughter of that influential man. Yeah. You know, I want to get married to her. You know, it's going to be a possibility. So at the end of the day, when you know yourself begin to get established yeah. and begin to get some financial weight, your real person will not show up. You now discover that this is not the person I really wanted. Mm. Now, and that is not mm. good at all because she loves you genuinely she wants you genuinely but now you are financially stable you don't want her anymore you are confusing her she's heartbroken she's doing everything to get your attention but she can no longer because you now have a muscle you know so then it just breaks down the same thing on the other side so so the reasons for which people marry you understand? There are people who, ladies who are used to bullying. That's how they grew up. So bullying is not a big deal to them. Mm. You know, they are used to seeing husband beat wives. Yeah. You know, so when you raise up their, your hand against them, it's not a big deal. After that time, you just settle and this goes on normally. But think, imagine a lady who's the highest the parents have ever done to her or uncles or anybody, it just called them and say, Helen, sit down. You know what you did is bad. And over a period of one hour, they'll take you through lectures on why you shouldn't do it again. They are pampered, yet they are disciplined. They can argue. They can emphasize their point. Yeah. But you now marry a man who cannot stand a woman arguing with him. So when you say, um, I'd like you to spend this 20,000 Naira 
for X, Y, Z. You say, no, 20,000 Naira will not do. Just add 3,000 Naira. And she's giving you reasons why you add just 3,000 Naira. And you, you, you can't even... Why I, I'm, don't you know I'm the head of this house? I'm telling you why the 20,000 Naira. And she say no there. She, because she's used to those kind of discussion growing up. No, there, no. Look at point A, point B. The next thing that, why should you argue with your husband? Give you a slap. Yeah. That slap will not just end in sorry. She's shocked. Nobody has slapped her before. You do all the things to win her heart back, she's heartbroken. Unlike the other lady who is used to you slap her and say, hey, don't worry now, nah. it's because I'm just telling you, and all is resolved. So I tell people, marry your type. Because if you marry the person that doesn't understand where you are coming from, it will carry you go where you don't know. Where you don't know. Let me put. Where you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that wow. is the, the beginning. So that's what I said. Then, for me, I communicate more now. But then, I didn't used to communicate because I came from a background where when you say it, you expect it to be done. So, when you begin to argue with me, I begin to wonder, don't you understand that as a captain of this ship, <laughs> I have said this is where we are sailing. You know, but so, but now I've learned better. Certainly. I got my fingers burnt. I've learned better. So I tell people, mm. learn. The word is learn. Even if you don't know it, learn. Even if you know it, learn. Because the way I will communicate with Franca, that Franca will understand, is not the way that I will communicate with Helen, that Helen will understand. So, we just have to learn how to communicate with each other. The act of communication. Some people hear what you are saying, but they are not listening. listening. It's another thing. The act of listening. Yeah, but I heard you now. No. When you listening, listening means that if I said this box is this box is brown, if you listen, you now begin to you can listen as much as your mind is so engaged. You are beginning to imagine, oh, how did it turn brown? Um, how did the factory? You can engage yourself in listening so much that even before the person makes the next sentence, you fully understand what the person is saying. It's different from hearing. Mm. You know, so I've heard you. No, it's not about hearing me. When I say let's cut down expenses this month, mm -hmm. you heard it. But did you listen? If I said, let's cut down expenses, you are imagining, why cut down expenses? Is there anything wrong? What could possibly happen? You see, because you listen, your whole intellect, emotions, is engaged mm. in that act. Mm. You know, so, so when you are asking the next question, you ask the next question because you listened. So it's not going to be a very interesting conversation and that's that enhances bonding. You just you see some couples bond so well because they listen to each other. You say, baby, I didn't like the way you spoke to me. I didn't like the way you spoke to me at the party. You are not just hearing, you are listening. You now your imagination goes to the party, the way you spoke. Because you listen, you could quickly apologize and explain. Look, I, I didn't mean to talk down on you but this because you listened but if you are not listening you will not engage it's a whole lot we are all, i'm still learning i'm looking at uh, possibility of new relationship and all that but okay. i'm still learning but you know okay. i i i am no longer who i used to be you know, so that is thank uh, you so much, it. Mr. Chris so Harris. Much, wow, Mr. Chris we have had a wow. lecture today. This is your lecture wow. and then you can write a book from it. Awesome. I know you have some the more <laughs> impact you. experience you can't even share because of time, but thank you so much for the meeting is great. Something there's something I don't fully understand about my tricky, apart from the fact that sometimes um I could be shy, you know, and all that. So 
But there's something I don't really understand about matchmaking. Though one, I know there are possibilities. I've heard stories, beautiful testimonies and all that. Now you meet somebody for the first time. The person likes how you look mm. and wants to matchmake with you. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you are thinking about something serious relationship. And like we just said, there are parameters. How do you understand that this person fits the other parameters? That's where they is it just a gamble? Even after That's the match, if this is just a show for a few minutes, few hours, then you both go to the back end and know each other. Just like you meeting someone for the first time. All of these will be to the person you're meeting for the first time, and the same thing will be to the person you're being matched late to. So don't get it wrong, you get it twisted. So matchmaking is not a bad thing. Okay, no, okay, okay. I have one more question. For you to meet so, your time. I have one more question. Okay, you said what? Uh, Frank, I have one more question. I have one more question. Pardon right. me, you know. So right. if you match make me, yeah, and I come yeah. back tomorrow and say, Frank, I need match make, you'll be asking what happened, and you may be reluctant. No, 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 no. To do a rematch. No, no. Okay, 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 okay. Make you so that is. Your, your type. No, 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 no. Okay. Yes, um, okay. We ask yes, unnecessary um, questions, yeah, and then questions, you yeah, both and need to, you know, get to meet the um, phone, video, meet, calls, video calls, and everything. Uh, and if it didn't work out, if it's not if you, if it didn't work out, if you discover there's something that is off with this person, you will not oblige to continue with the person. Please come back here again to match with the person. You will match me. Oh. Okay. Yes. You say marry your type, truly. During this matchmaking um, show, we tend to ask the basic questions. But then again, if you guys go on the back end and you figure that this is not the type of person you want to be with, communicate. You have to communicate. So don't think all is well and you just keep going and you know you guys are not talking and you're playing cool you know you're doing your thing acting all manly acting all girly keeping malice for one day two days until one week two weeks three weeks two months five months no sexual intercourse <laughs> hey before you know it i'm you're over it because if there is no romance there is no communication you're just living in the house like housemates then you don't want it again then you want to go out you want to leave the marriage that's when you see people who have been married for years just divorce because they did not uh, establish that bonding from the start so please and please and please tackle all issues as it arises as it arises just like when you are wearing a, a gown and the gown has a stitch like this one I, let's say this is a stitch this is a design though but let's say this is a stitch on your dress and you don't patch the stitch, it will drag all the way. Hello, Mary. You're on. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. So introduce yourself, please. Uh, and uh, are you a Christian, first of all? Yes, I'm a Christian. Okay, so introduce yourself, your age, where you're from, what you're looking at uh, in a man, what, you, what qualities are you looking for in a man, what's your genotype, let's just hear you out. I'm Mary Kahlo from Nigeria, Abia State precisely. My genotype is AA and I'm a nurse by profession. You're a nurse, okay. So, I would love to meet in, in a nice looking guy, a caring type, and a God fearing type, a respectful type, and a tolerant type. What are your qualities as a wife material? Qualities I have to be my partner, I have to give him the respect that he deserves. I have to do things that I need to do at the right times. At the right time, not allowing him to shout at me. Mary Carlo in the building, a 28 years old nurse from Nigeria, looking for a God fearing man. And he should be handsome too. <laughs> but I'll tell you the truth, Mary. Handsome, being handsome 
what's your description of being handsome yes someone should look good yeah but i don't know why ladies put that as one of their first criteria the man doesn't have to be too fine like this in washington for him to be able to give you a few mm. do you know i really don't mean that I really don't mean that person should be too, too, too cute. Your, your character and attitude matters a lot, not even the handsomeness. Chris, you're welcome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mary Kalu, yeah. you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You did tell us how tall you are. Or how your physical mm? uh, looks and uh, mm? tell us how you how your how you look physically how tall and your spec mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm not tell that us, tall. Tell Let us me us see. I should be like you. <laughs> you are looking for a handsome man. Let's uh, know. No, 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 no. I should be like. Uh, <laughs> I should be like five feet tall, and then I'm five. Sixty-five kg in okay. weight. Ah, five. Okay. Sixty-five. Five. No, the thing is that everybody. Everybody have their specs, so um, it's not everybody like that. Uh, everybody have the different spec they want. So somebody may just like your own kind of stature. Okay. Tell us what are the things you love? What do you love to do? Where do you like to hang out? What do you do on a normal day? What's your routine like? And you and how happy you are for marriage to settle down. I, uh, I love watching movies. I also love uh, I also love football. Love football. Love football. Okay, that's good. Ah, uh, hardly uh, before you see a girl likes football. Uh, so, um, so I actually I don't I actually do not like going out because I, like I love being on my own. I love being on my own. You are sort of introverted. Is there any profession you particularly like? Is there any nationality? Does the person have to be a Nigerian? Uh, what if the person is not Nigerian? So, okay. What do you have to say to that? I don't have any problem. I don't have any problem with the nationality. So you don't mind traveling you wherever sure? you are from. Not I'm good to go. Okay. Interesting. There's a, there's a lady who who, no, who said she sure. was. Uh, for... I'm not sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I don't understand your comments. You say you're not sure, but you are sure. About if this man comes now. About the comes, nationality. Is from a particular place. It's from maybe say Ghana, and he likes you. You like him. You guys have a great flow. But then he said you should come over to Ghana. He can't come to Nigeria or something like that because he has a he maybe he's a doctor. He has a hospital. So he wants you and him to work together. You know, and yeah, fit into his vision. Will you be able to go to Ghana? Leave all the things you're doing. Yes, the nationality does not matter as long as the person loves you. Today has been amazing. If you go back and watch the replay, we'll post this on our YouTube channel. Um, uh, the replay on YouTube. Go and watch our uh, replays on YouTube at Franca Choice. The same name on my TikTok at Franca Choice. Follow, subscribe, watch the replay, watch other enlightening videos there. Also, follow my page, bedmatics101.com. It is my backup page. In case anything happens to this page, that's where you can find me. I pray nothing happens to this page, but in case, just go on and look for, search it out. Now, can somebody help me type it down? At bedmatics101.com. 
that is my page follow follow it now so you do not miss a thing okay bedmatics101.com thank you for typing that in just tap on it next week invite someone and let us have fun in this place next week saturday invite someone and let's have fun let's match make let's find our mr right mrs right let's create love stories together so next week sunday i hope i'll see you here same time 3 p.m live on tiktok